The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Where's my thing here? I should be. Don't I have it? Did I not bring it up? I did not bring it up, but I will right now. As I said, as always, doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here, at the start of the show. The following takes place between 2 p.m., and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, we're down 30 on the S&P. Dow's down 44. Uh, NASDAQ's off uh, 244. Um, there's a few things going on out here. I don't uh, haven't listened uh, all day long to much. But uh, here's the big headlines. We've got uh, big trouble in little China. A couple of things going on there. First, uh, a couple of the companies are trying to raise some big cash to take care of huge margin calls that may be in the neighborhood of $2 billion uh, for uh, the nickel uh, blow-up uh, that we saw. Uh, well, now what? It's almost a little over a week now, right? Uh, and uh, apparently that's just one of the issues. Of course, the other issue is... Uh, Nobody, although they want to list their stocks here, no one wants you to let, uh, look under the covers and see what's actually going on in these companies. I railed a bit about this on Friday. Um, and that discontinues. It's just getting worse. Uh, most people think that a lot of these stocks will have to leave, leave the New York Stock Exchange. But uh, the question is, what's really there? Who knows? Uh, you know, maybe these companies are making money. Maybe they're not. Uh, there are certainly two sets of books, one that they hand to the New York Stock Exchange and one that uh, is local for anybody investing in China locally. Uh, and those two sets of books on almost all the companies do not match. Um, most people are now saying, in fact, a couple are saying that it, uh, the uh, uh, China stocks are actually uninvestable as they will probably all get delisted within the next year. Of course, uh, uh, there's been some big shutdowns in China, too, with COVID. Uh, that's starting to weigh on Apple a bit, um, and it's unclear of whether this is true or not. Uh, there's some people out there with conspiracy theories. Uh, amazing how many of these conspiracy theories over the last couple of years have actually turned out to be true. Uh, but certainly uh, starting to weigh on whether Apple will be able to actually assemble as many of these smartphones as they want. Um, it's been kind of a, one of the ones that's been uh, pointed out, um, but uh, off another 2% today, 151, 24, 25. So uh, just a little under what is, uh, is uh, what's out there for support. Most people thinking 152.50 was support. We're about a buck underneath that. Uh, volume's good. Is it enough uh, to get the 18 billion shares we had before uh, in the overall market? We're doing about half that now, um, but we haven't gone and tested the lows. That's still, what, 41.15? Think that, 41.14, something like that on the cash. So we'll see about that. Uh, other things going on, had a uh, listener say, hey, I remember you were talking about TAM. Uh, Jim Liebenthal at lunch brought it up. Um, he brought up two things. Uh, I, I'll watch the video real quick uh, after the guy said something. Uh, I went and found it on the website. And, you know, for the most part, there's not a lot of things to, to look at. But uh, he was basically railing about people buying uh, price multiples of 40, which if you're talking about new companies, not, be, not beyond the scale of reason. Uh, but TAM has always been, and why did the guy email me? He goes, they brought up TAM. Uh, totally addressable market. Anytime you see that, 
I've always said it's time to run. He was just surprised that someone else actually brought it up on TV. But uh, just if you want to hear uh, something that makes me think that uh, every time I hear it, uh, a skunk just farted uh, in the room, bring up total addressable market because it's almost always used by scammers uh, who are way off on either their predictions uh, or just uh, pumping a, uh, a fraud out outright. But total addressable market, that's like, uh, you know what? Uh, we've got a total addressable market of X, and it's always something that's ridiculous. Um, it's always go, you know, there's 8 billion people on this planet. If we just get 10% of them, you know, that's 800 million. That's That's all we need. And it's always against this total addressable market. And it's almost always a smokescreen for not having a really good story that probably would hold water. Uh, South by Southwest started. Uh, and, of course, um, all the people that were gaga over things in the past. Uh, South by Southwest really got its start by introducing Twitter to the world. And, of course, uh, a few years ago, it was all about the uh, Bitcoins or cyber uh, cyber uh, uh, coinage. Uh, well, they've moved on to all those. Those are all uh, old hat. It's now they're all in the uh, camp drinking Kool-Aid on NFTs. So uh, if you thought you were able to avoid a bit of that, uh, continue on. I've got a bunch of emails asking me what I think the outcome of the war and uh, it's going to be with Russia and that. And I have no idea. I am kind of weirded out by how many people that uh, have been um, against war in the past suddenly becoming giant war hawks. Not exactly sure what that's all about. Uh, I think they tend to forget that the opposite side has some nuclear weapons. But uh, certainly uh, the one size fits all and uh, not able to change or, or challenge the narrative has me kind of worried much like uh, early 2001 when uh, there wasn't any discussion about what's the best policy, not just we've got to have one and it's all out uh, is uh, – uh, as other folks said, but there was always going to be something bad uh, that's driven home. Uh, I think the Patriot Act is one of those things that happened from 2001 to 9-11. And, of course, we've seen it used to almost topple a president here in the United States uh, illegally. And, of course, uh, nobody bothering to wonder at all. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, the coverage is stilted. Uh, the propaganda is everywhere. I don't know how to handle that if uh, I don't get decent news to the contrary. Uh, but uh, all the big uh, uh, folks that hate uh, free speech are, are on the bandwagon of making sure we only hear one narrative. And that always makes me worry. Uh, the one hour time change is uh, upon us. Uh, the markets do act a little differently for the next couple of weeks until our uh, daylight savings times and one in Europe coincide. Just be knowing that uh, 1130 is not a magical time anymore. And uh, we'll be back uh, and talk about McEvil to wrap this up. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. One of the most interesting things going on in finance right now is the big lawsuit uh, from a hacker and uh, Taylor, a company that makes uh, beyond or a lot of machines for uh, retail uh, restaurants and that kind of stuff. They make the ice cream machine for McDonald's. Um, and... Uh, uh, some hackers decided to fix a problem that's been ongoing for 18, almost 20 years now with the ice cream machines uh, of McDonald's that uh, uh, any of its uh, folks that actually are, um, what do they call them, franchisees, uh, are forced to buy by contract uh, but uh, do not work uh, and have big problems. Uh, that are starting to look like McDonald's may have a uh, problem that is much more like the mob uh, and trash hauling in New York than anything else. Uh, apparently, uh, this lawsuit's now turning over some stones that no one wanted to be have seen. Uh, there may be a much bigger troubles afoot for McDonald's, finding out that uh, they were much more like the mob uh, than a kindly hamburger store near you, at least the uh, corporate version of McDonald's. Um, about a year ago, there was a YouTube video that went viral with over, I think it's got over 10 million views now, uh, that deep research why uh, you're have a, more likely to have a machine down at McDonald's that is 100 times more likely to be down than the exact same machine at uh, Wendy's and others. And uh, the only thing's missing in this thing is uh, the corporate types from McDonald's coming by and asking the franchisees if it'd be a real bad problem if your windows were broken. Yeah, we could probably help you out with that. Uh, so um, <laughs> there are some people out there talking RICO, uh, and certainly uh, the, the uh, feds are now involved in looking in to what's going on, but... Uh, uh, much bigger troubles afoot out here, uh, and no one would probably think about it in ice cream. But uh, certainly, 
um, these guys are going to probably see a lot of this stuff on the franchise uh, side laid bare. And why not a direct party? Um, we're going to probably find out that there are bigger problems afoot with McDonald's tie in with its manufacturer, which, of course, probably against uh, about 20 or 30 or 100 laws from the Federal Trade Commission on it. But uh, maybe people are still buying stuff there. I think I went by once and tried to get a cup of coffee, but I haven't been there in probably a year. I think it may be a year. Uh, anyway, uh, looking at McDonald's. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Pete says, great call on the TLT. Where's uh, next level on support? Uh, we got our gap down. We got to uh, 131.95. That's the March 18th low. We're about a nickel away from it, actually, on the low. Um the volume probably going to be a little light today. Uh, probably going to hold up through the Fed. So don't get too excited just yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going back to this low on March 18th in front of the Fed. Uh, you do have three nice gaps out here. Um, and so you could be in a three-gap play if the Fed is a little bit dovish coming up here in the next day or so so i would uh you know anytime i get three gaps like this i'm generally the one to go ahead and say i'm adios and i've had personally just a very very long term uh short on the tlt and i got out today so i'll get ready to do it again um unclear if the fed is going to do much of anything um that makes this worse but, uh, yeah, it, it could bounce. You could get all the way back up to 138, 139. Uh, but my guess is after that, then you're looking uh, at much lower. And there's some spots out here at 129 and 128. Uh, but then you go to a nice gap that's been around for a very long time at about 125. That gap goes back to August uh, 1st of 2019 and uh, 26 million shares so we've got some more stair steps to go it may take a little bit more you had more energy on the way down uh in a shorter amount of time off the december 3rd high uh than you did from the run all the way from march 18th of last year up to that december 3rd high you've already had more energy and more shares out on this other uh, right-hand side of this leg. It is not a, a good look, but my guess is 128, then 125, and it may take a little while for the markets to catch back up. Uh, but like I said, uh, risk-reward here is not as good as one would think. You could gap down. You could fill these out. If you've been short for a while, I'd move to the sidelines ideally. The best thing that could happen to me is just go up, fill all three gaps, and then head on back down. But uh, yeah, I may or may not be that lucky. As uh, G7 in the Den says, one headline could turn all of this around. He's looking at the QQQs, I think, and uh, lighter volume. Let's take a look, a look at here. Um, it's not that much lighter. Um, your last low out here was 131 million shares. Uh, you got, uh, well, you do have lighter today. Let me put it that way. Uh, you had a 116 on the 8th and uh, 131 on February 24th. So today you're in here with 54 million shares. Uh, to get a signal, you would need a close back above 318.26. That's a February 24th low when you got the reversal. I'm thinking that they can just sit there and grind this thing down uh, maybe very slowly over the next day or two. Uh, but remember that the queues are being heavily sold right now by a couple of big time uh, Chinese uh, investors that are raising cash uh, to go after at least one of them has almost two billion dollars in losses on the nickel. And these guys are having to raise cash and why the uh, LME has been closed 
uh, for nickel trading. And uh, I don't know what else you could say about that. They're protecting their own on this. They're not protecting the traders. Uh, but again, if they didn't, the LME probably would be circling the drain right now, along with uh, the traders that were backing those trades. Uh, one of the other things uh, that we did find out uh, to, over the weekend is just um, how big some of these companies are in uh, trouble. Like J.P. Morgan on that trade, they're on the they're on the counterparty side, and they end up with a whole lot of nothing. Uh, or I like to say one of my favorite movie shorts of all time, a fist full of yin. Back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Yes, uh, questions. A fistful of yen, a 30-minute short in a Kentucky Fried Movie in a uh, great uh, send-up of uh, Enter the Dragon. Uh, th this is the movie before they made Airplane. And uh, all done on low budgets, but hysterically funny. And uh, always great from that time period, 1977. But uh, a lot of inside jokes if you didn't grow up in the 70s. Uh, probably one of the best ones out there uh, in the, the whole Enter the Dragon is, uh, is uh, the guy's talking and 
they know the room's bugged. And uh, he leans over and says, we could do that, but it would be bad. And that's a send up of uh, Nixon uh, leaning over and doing the same thing uh, for his uh, make sure that he got on his tape. So, I mean, there's a lot of little inside stuffs in there. But if you like Enter the Dragon, you'd probably like it. Uh, hysterically funny. And uh, probably the best send up of uh, all time. Uh, he has to go to a little island. And it's the Isle of Lucy. If you get that, which happened to Anyway, fantastic stuff. On YouTube, if you want to find it, the full movie, and even just the uh, A Fist Full of Yen, 1977. Uh, question uh, from one of the guys, uh, how can you know whether the ice cream machine is on? Um, it's become a meme now for McDonald's, and now with the lawsuit, even things getting hotter uh, for those guys uh, on why... Uh, the average downtime on their machines is somewhere around 15% uh, on their ice cream machines, where at Wendy's and others who use the exact same machine, it's 1%. And uh, so everybody knows there's something going on here. Is it, uh, is it uh, kind of a mob thing? Uh, are people uh, at the executive offices invested uh, in Taylor, uh, because they make so much money on uh, maintenance that they just continue to force um, other folks uh, to spend money on this. It's interesting. 32% of machines in New York are down, and 17% uh, of Houston, 17% in San Diego. Um, anyway, McBroken.com, if you're interested. Uh, let's get back to it. We were talking about J.P. Morgan uh, may have billions on the uh, opposite side, too. So we may see a little bit of uh, leg out here on these guys. They are coming back, and maybe this is why everybody knew what was coming. Uh, but uh, volume's not as bad, so maybe that story is not as true as uh, we know, as we think. 127.27 on March 8th with... Uh, 19 million shares. You got about 10 million shares now back into this gap higher. Actually, not too bad looking. Uh, let's see back here. We got more questions. Okay. So, a uh, question on Apple. So, is Apple, uh, at least what I'm hearing is uh, there's two things. One, uh, people are selling uh, Apple in China to raise money for a lot of these uh, um, uh, margin calls that they're going to get hit with in the metals. Uh, Apple, uh, down a little bit. The volume is not good, though. So you could still get a rather huge spring. I'm thinking 162 uh, could be in just a couple of days. Options continue to be very brave at 165. I'm not exactly sure what comes back into this, but certainly you have a good-looking candle out here on Apple today, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think a lot's going to happen in the next couple of days. I think all the fireworks are going to be from about 2 o'clock on on Wednesday to the rest. I don't know if a lot of people are going to get really brave. Um, ideally, you'd want to see that uh, 41 14 tested in the S&P cash during the day, during trading hours, and see light volume uh, persist. Um, again, uh, a lot of worries for whether or what uh, um, China is going to do in Taiwan. Uh, that is overhanging uh, the semiconductor uh, market. But again, it uh, could be worse. Uh, the first uh, low... On January 24th, 208.88 on NVIDIA, came into that uh, with uh, about 17 million shares lighter on February 24th. That was 73 million shares at 208.90, so two cents away. Um, you got 55 million shares on March 8th and bounced off that. Now you're back into that with 27 million shares today. Now this is how you make lows. But it takes some time. I know everybody thinks that the uh, uh, proverbial V market that we've had for 10 years before this is the way it comes back. Sometimes it's a U, 
and sometimes it's a little bit more complex than you would want. Uh, good call. Uh, this is Robert. Good call on gold and its blow off top. Uh, where are you looking? I'm just, uh, you're almost there. Uh, two, two, two. What do we have for gold prices right now? Get over to that. Okay. 1960, 1950. Uh, the range I was looking at to begin with was 1950 to 1975. You're in that today, at least on uh, the Gold Trust, it looks fairly good. You got a gap right there at about uh, 180, 150 on the GLD. I think you're into that. Um, you had an up thrust that gave up uh, everything on February 24th with 33 million shares. You're getting into that. You did gap higher with 22 million shares on the 4th. But I think you could fill half that gap, which would be about 181 on the GLD. And that's, you know, 10 bucks. I think that does it on the GLD. So you're back to a pretty good support area. Um, my guess, again, is you're not going to do a lot uh, before the Fed at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. And you could just melt, which would be fine by me. The better the price, uh, I can wait. And so should you. Um, more questions about uh, uh, what's going on in crude. Um, some thoughts out here uh, today are that uh, we wanted to go back and test 100. That's part of it. Uh, one of the uh, Fed uh, appointees uh, is not going to make it through confirmation. Uh, mostly based on comments she has made before uh, that would uh, mean that she would use the Fed as a bludgeon to beat up um, uh, energy producers. And a lot of people were thinking that was going to go through. Uh, when that started leaking out, I guess uh, over the weekend, people started thinking a lot more about uh, the price of uh, energy going maybe down instead of up. And maybe some of these policies that have made it uh, absolutely brutal at the gas pumps for Americans may get reversed. I don't I, I don't think that they're going to give up drinking the Kool-Aid uh, on trying to get rid of any fossil fuel they can. But uh, a small win, at least for the uh, people at the gas pump. And uh, even though they probably don't like it at the moment, probably a little bit for those in the condition. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are 
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, we're going to the phones. We're going to the mattresses, but that's in a couple of days. Uh, happy Pi Day, by the way. Je uh, Jeff uh, near Philly. How you doing? Yes. Uh, hi, Dave. Uh, happy Pi Day. 2.1415926540. Yep. Uh, I have a, <laughs> have a question about uh, the delta value on options. Um, so uh, I understand one way you can use the delta value is uh, use it as a probability that the uh, underlying will uh, not them, that the option will expire in the money at expiration percent chance. So if you, if you have like a 10% uh, delta, then uh, that particular option has a 10% chance of um, expiring in the money. And my uh, question is, uh, is that um, uh, equally reliable in uh, times of high volatility like we have now, you know, where markets are uh, racing up and down. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on a strategy, and it kind of relies on on the uh, delta value, you know, giving you the uh, percent chance of uh, expiring in the money. Um, the answer is high volatility seems to be better. But a lot of people just look at the uh, max pain level and go, that's where it's it's headed. Um, if you actually get through and do all the math, you're going to find that there's some little hockey sticks. And I'm showing what I have on the screen right now. And those little hockey sticks tend to be, even if it doesn't get back to it, you tend to know where the bias is. But the hockey sticks kind of really show you where support and resistance are going to be uh, out here. So right now I'm showing on the spies, which are probably the, the best besides uh, Apple and Microsoft to go after if you're trying to get started in this. Um, you need lots of people playing. And a lot of people go into stocks that are very thin, uh, traded with options, and they start looking at stuff. Um, you also have to remember that almost all of these people also probably have some kind of uh, bizarre um, hedge that includes uh, futures and options and a lot of other stuff. So why the X is, is pretty good on some stocks, uh, it tends to be more of a suggestion. What you really want to look for in the line is the little hockey sticks. Now, on this one, we've got uh, 415 uh, to about 425. So when, right when now... When you're saying the hockey sticks, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not like right in front of my computer at the moment. Are you very tiny. referring to your, your work on the Max Payne stuff? Yeah, well... On the yeah, you're going to see okay. the so, you're going to see so the probabilities are set, and what you're going to find out is that those hockey stick uh, breaks in the trend show you where these people are are camped out or think, but uh, right now uh, four fifteen is kind of the low, so we're probably getting fairly close to what people think. You also have kind of a break at about well, I'm going to call it four twenty five. Um, but these things have really flattened out after uh, the Fed on uh, 
Wednesday, my guess is you're going to see some very distinct uh, dog legs in these things, and that's going to tell you a lot. Right now, people are uh, have very wide uh, um, positions set up, and you're probably not getting a lot. Now, this is also one of the hardest ones uh, to handicap because you've got quad witching. So don't get too frustrated uh, when they don't hit exactly where you think they will. Uh, I don't try to pick um, the market so much as a direction to be going into quad witching. Um, and generally what you'll find out is by the numbers by around 11 on Friday, we'll give you a really good indication. Uh, unfortunately, you have to wait until the uh, futures expire at 935 Friday morning. So well, on, uh, go ahead. On, on the, thanks. Uh, on the um, strategy that I'm, I'm working on, I, I won't be able to see the max pain. Actually, what I'm trying to do is just uh, sell iron condors, un, iron condors like on Monday or Tuesday using weekly options. And I've been... Uh, collecting some data and i see that if you use uh 10 percent deltas on either side as your short strikes then yeah. um you it, it's got a positive expectancy so um well i'm trying to figure out like well anytime i come up with something that looks like it's going to work i start wondering mm -hmm. what did i miss <laughs> So I'm That's thinking a good thing what to do, maybe I'm because missing is that I can't rely on those delta values as probability that you're going to um, close in well, the money. It, it's in certainly not a high volatility, like when the VIX is over 30 or whatever. Yeah, it's certainly not a bell curve. What are you using for your expectation? A standard uh, Gaussian distribution? Uh, no, I'm just looking at the delta. Well, I'm, so I look at the option chain. On, right, but on, Monday, but on any, on, on, yeah, but on anything you should have a histogram, and it should say uh, like in the spies. There's a ten percent at four twenty five, and a five percent at you know four twenty, and a you you should right. have some kind of histogram that sets that up, right? So you can see you can see the distribution of where you think it's going to be, whatever model you're building, right? Okay, you understand where I'm going. Um. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to take too much of your time, but I'm. I'm no, not, we got plenty. Like we got plenty. We got two more minutes here. Building. Well, I, I would say two. First of all, you know what kind of distribution you're going to use. Well, it would be. I would think a normal distribution. Now, <laughs> markets okay. have fat tails. Um, you're going to need to do a lot of work if you're going to try to make a model that works and understands it. Um, I've explained it this way before, but probably the best way. If I get in a Cessna 172 and I go fly and I get whacked out, I can just take my hands off, off the uh, yoke and rudders. And it's probably going to fly itself fairly well. It's going to be very stable. Uh, if the nose is headed down, it'll speed up, and it'll start uh, it'll start uh, planing out. And it, once it gets going a little bit too fast, the nose will come up. It'll slow down, and you'll have some oscillations, and it'll eventually get to some kind of homeostasis where it's flying level. Okay. You got three computers in an F-16. If two of them don't, um, uh, if uh, two of those don't match, it automatically ejects you because it is always unstable. And what you have to do is look at that uh, expectation uh, or distribution more like a sombrero than a bell. At the edges, it turns right back up. And uh, that's generally when you start looking at it. I, I exaggerate it, but uh, the distribution is not a normal or a Gaussian distribution. Uh, when things get uh, bad, they get worse. And that's what you have to understand about the market. They tend to blow up at the very edges of those things. And uh, there's a lot more downside than a bell curve would have. If you want to hang on, that's fine. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, do we still have uh, Jeff on the line? Yeah, uh, I know we only have like two minutes. Um, can I rephrase my question, please? Sure. <laughs> oh, so um, how reliable is using the delta as the percent chance that the option will expire in the money? Is that highly reliable or now, not really? Now, I, you, okay. you, have you ever heard the wisdom of crowds? Yeah, wisdom of crowds. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I subscribe to after years and years of working on this stuff. So that's why I use those kind of Max Payne versions of it uh -huh. uh, in that uh, there's a couple of problems. One, you're going to get blown out um, probably. But uh, uh -huh. there is a there's a good explanation out here from John Maynard Keynes who said markets can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. Uh -huh. And that's probably yeah, the best way to describe how fat tails are in the market. I'm showing a, a really nice uh, article on uh, toward uh, datascience.com. If you want the link, just email it to me. But it gets in here about how you have to look at fat tails, and uh, there's a lot of other things that go in. But a fairly simplistic thing like that uh, probably doesn't give you a lot of uh, direction. Um, I know what you're trying to do. And there's been a lot of people uh, decided to do it since Jimmy Rogers 
famously said, I think in 1990, uh, 85% of all options uh, go unexpired. So let's go ahead and just sell uh, options. Um, what he fails to see is uh, the Lehman Brothers moment of 2007, 8, uh, and others that blew up or Enron. Um, there's always these big unknown uh, events. Uh, 100-year floods, but they all tend to come about every 15 years in the market. So uh, I'm not a big fan on, on uh, trying to do that because you do have one big time over a number of years of being successful. It takes all the money away from you in a day. Right. Thanks for the call. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We shall return tomorrow.